Hi right, guys, for today's video, I'm working on the front storage hatch on the John boat. If you've seen my previous videos, the concept of the front half of the boat is gonna be the front fisherman's cockpit, a sitting station. We're probably gonna mount a seat at some point up here, a platform that comes out and then straight down, dry storage for things like life jackets and larger, lighter items. I should have just enough wood to build this. I need to get my measurements of the boards I'm gonna cut and uh, we'll figure it out as we go. So the first thing I did was I raised the trailer down to make sure we're working on a level plane. So this is our basic shape we're going for. It's 34 inches at the bottom, tapered up to 44 inch, 44 and a half on the top with a 14 and a half rise. And then the plan for this is to put a small opening in it too. So we're gonna have to figure out that. Before we measure out the top, I'm gonna see how this piece fits and sits and then we'll get the measurements for that. So for now, I'm gonna work on building this piece of wood. All right, first thing I'm doing is I'm measuring out our 45 inch width. We got a nice clean cut with the circular saw. Now we gotta rip this down to 15 inches tall. For the angles, I'm gonna take some side to side measurements at a couple different locations, mark it off on the wood here, and then get my angle that way. 37 and a half, four inches up, 39, at seven inches up, it's 41 inches, about eight inches up, 45 at the handle, 12 inches up. So that's gonna give us our rough angle, and then we're gonna go from here. All right, so here's our basic shape. Let's go ahead and see if it fits in the boat. So the idea is for it to sit right here. Okay, so we are really close here. Took about a half inch off on each corner and I just ran my angle back up. Okay, we're now hitting the floor. So our angles look good now. See, the only thing is I don't really want this over the lip of the boat. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is come down and find out what level is. Basically flush with the bottom of this. It's not really what I wanted, but I think it's gonna look best in the long run. Okay, so a small change of design here. I'm gonna be cutting it down to 13 inches instead of 15 inches. I really didn't like how it looked with it sticking up out and over. All right, so the board's been ripped down to 13 inches from the top to the bottom. Fit into place here. All right, so we have our board in place where it's gonna go, and now we have to figure out a way to get this shape. It is gonna end up covering the top of the bench here, unless we don't do it to the top of the bench. And then what I can do is rivet in some brackets right on the edge here, and then this whole thing will just drop in place. We have some ideas now. So now, next up, I need to build this square. We have this uh, top hatch built. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drill all the pilot holes for the screws and get this angle attached to both boards here. All right, so the riser board is into the angle now. I'm gonna go ahead and flush this out so the board here join correctly. And then I'm gonna screw my holes down into this board. All right, well, let's take a look and see how we did. I wish I had smaller screws. Unfortunately, I only had one inch screws on me. I really could have used half inch or three quarters, but they'll still do the job. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna be leveling my center mounting tab just so I can get a better idea of where everything's gonna sit. I used a template here and drew the distance, basically the thickness of the wood. That way I can position this where I want, line it up to the thickness of the wood here, and then I can use my level. So now I'm gonna drill this out so I can rivet this in place. Actually, before I rivet, I'm gonna just drill this out and use some screws. That way I can reposition things easy if I need to. Oh yeah, that is perfect. Really happy with the way this is turning out. 
it's just giving a really cool shape to the front of the boat. So hopefully I'll be able to get this done soon. I need to decide how I want to have my hatch openings. If you guys have any ideas, I'm all ears. I think what I'm gonna do is cut a front opening hatch. That'll allow access to that compartment. I'm gonna get this all carpeted up. Um, and then on the interior here, I'm gonna be laying down foam and then putting some carpet on top of that. That way it'll just keep reducing the hull noise when you're on the water, um, as well as giving a nice platform to place items and having less chance of it sliding down uh, under this floor here. All right, if you guys found this helpful, or you just like watching the video, let me know by hitting that like button. If you wanna follow along with the Jumbo build and see how the front hatch turns out, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. MVP outdoors, we're outdoors. <laughs>